Lendava. This Pannonian town, nestled in the picturesque Lendava Hills, draws attention from afar with its castle, Holy Trinity Chapel, and the Vinarium Viewing Tower. One of the most characteristic architectural monuments in this area is Lendava Castle, which was built on the site of a 12th century fortress. It experienced its heyday during the time of the noble Banfi family, whose members had important functions at the Hungarian court. Locals remember them as patrons of publishing activities. Did you know that the first books on the territory of today's Slovenia were printed in Lendava? One of the most well-known is undoubtedly the Book of Teachings, entitled Postil, from 1574. At the end of the Banfi's rule, the castle was taken over by the noble Esterheze family, who, in sign of loyalty to Emperor Leopold, had the castle rebuilt in the shape of the letter L in 1712. The last major renovation was carried out in the 19th century. Today, the castle houses the Lendava Gallery Museum, which showcases homeland, ethnological and art exhibitions. The gallery collection presents the art heritage of Lendava artists and a collection of artworks created in traditional, international and youth fine art colonies. In recent years, the Lendava Castle has become the scene of exhibitions by titans of world art. Among others, it has hosted exhibitions by Dali, Picasso, Chigal and other world-renowned artists that attract thousands of art lovers each year. At the foot of the castle hill, there is the Baroque parish church of St. Catherine of Alexandria, built by the Esterhese family in the middle of the 18th century. The Catherine's church fete is held annually on the plateau by the church. Did you know that the town's fair tradition dates back to 1366? That is when King Louis the Great granted the Banfi family on the Lendava estate the same rights for state fairs as the city of Buda. Lendava's main street or old town core tells stories about the bourgeois life of its inhabitants in the era of dualism. The architecture designed at the turn of the 19th and 20th century picturesquely reflects their life stories. During the bourgeois period, Dolnia Lendava was considered as one of the economic, political and cultural centres of Zala County. The legacy of the bourgeois era, Lendava's pharmacies, typography and first umbrella factory on Hungarian soil are revealed in a permanent display at the Museum of Citizenry, Typography and Umbrella Manufactory. Lendava's cultural development is strongly linked to its geographical position and traditions of the local population, which can easily be noted in the theatre and concert hall. This beautiful building's image is intertwined with elements of Pannonian architecture and Hungarian mythology. It is the work of world-known architect Imre Markovitz. On the opposite side of the square is the Lendava Synagogue with a permanent display on Prek Moria Jews. Did you know that besides Maribors, it is the only other preserved synagogue in Slovenia? In 2013, it was proclaimed the Holocaust Museum of Slovenia. Besides the synagogue, the Dolgovaz Jewish Cemetery preserves memories of the former flourishing Jewish community, once one of the most important in Slovenia. Not far from Lendava lies the village of Radmozhansi, which is known for its special excursion point, Mary's tree with the way of the cross and the chapel in Czerny Log. Another pilgrimage point worth mentioning is Hutiza, where there is a way of the cross set up in memory of the priest Daniel Halas, who died a martyr's death. Once it was only possible to cross the Mora here by ferry, but today we can continue towards Croatia via a bridge. The Morania Cycling Centre is a good starting point for popular destinations in Lendava or its surroundings, and even for cross-border routes. In our region, cycling, tourism and hiking has an ever-growing number of fans. For cyclists who enjoy bigger challenges, participation in the Pannonian Marathon will be spot on. The route runs through Slovenia, Hungary and Croatia.
For hikers who enjoy going on organised hikes in a picturesque and hospitable landscape, there are two interesting hikes, the Mishko Kranjets hike and the New Year's Eve torch hike. Both lead from the plains to the hills. The Venarium Lendava Observation Tower, the Pannonian Lighthouse as some people like to call it, is located along the Wine Tourist Road in the Lendava Hills. Together with the lobby and nine floors, the tower is 53.5 metres tall. From the top, which can be reached by lift or 240 steps, you can enjoy the unique 360-degree view of the plains and hills of Slovenia, Hungary, Croatia and Austria in all four seasons. Throughout the year, numerous events are organised in and outside the tower, and for visitors there are offers of authentic homemade dishes and selected wines. The mummy of the knight, Michael Hardik, is on view in the Holy Trinity Chapel. According to legend, he was one of the greatest army leaders during the Turkish invasions. The legend also tells of the tragic love between Michael and Piroshka, the younger daughter of Count Banfi. The pyramid, which marks the Lendava Hill's highest peak of 327 meters above sea level, is a popular spot for hikers. During Turkish invasions at the beginning of the 17th century, warning signals were sent from here to alert the surrounding inhabitants. The Lendava Hills are considered to be the most typical and largest serried wine-growing region in Slovenia. The grape and wine production tradition dates back to antiquity. The sweet drops of wine produced in the Lendava Hills combine the heat of the sun, the healing effects of the soil, the power of the wind and the freshness of the night. The landscape gives a special charm to the hills scattered with wine cellars, wineries and excursion farms, where wine growers offer their guests mainly varietal wines such as Welsh Riesling, Chardonnay, Rhine Riesling, Chipon and White Burgundy. Good wines are best when accompanied by good food. The wine cellar's offers are indispensable with homemade cold cuts and bograch, meat from tunka and minced lard, and bread-like perets. This hospitable region's gastronomy has been shaped by the culinary arts of Slovenes, Hungarians, Croats, Jews, Roma and even Austrians. Borgraj, a stew made from three types of meat, potatoes, onions, peppers and the small secrets of its chefs, has a special place in the hearts of the locals. For over a decade, the biggest competition in the cooking of Borgraj in Slovenia has been taking place in Lendava's Old Town Center, where teams compete in the preparation of this traditional viticultural dish. Did you know that since 2011, Lendava is the holder of the title World Capital of Borgraj? Besides Borgraj Fest, other important culinary events in Lendava and its immediate surroundings are the Fish Soup Cooking Competition, Hortiza Fishing Days and Spring Asparagus Day. The culinary offer of homemade Prekmurian delicacies is always available at events and village holidays, which also helps to preserve customs and habits. Among ethnographic events, the most important one and the one with the longest tradition is the Lendava Grape Harvest, which every year has a parade showing traditions and customs in the field of viticulture, farm and other chores, and the everyday life of people. In recent years, events have been linked to the Vinarium Festival, which, apart from major culinary and ethnographic events, arranges pampering delicacies on the culinary street. We can enjoy a rich cultural and entertainment program, taste the delights of wineries and excursion farms. All year round, you can be pampered at the Terme Lendava Spa with its unique paraffin water and inviting treatments and wellness offer. The hotel complex has a recreational centre with pools and slides that offer real refreshment on hot summer days. Experience the intertwinement of different cultures, taste authentic home cooking and feel the preserved natural environment. Visit us. <laughs>